So the shower's running. this thing. So the tank's at 131. And we're showing that sensor showing 111. Gotta go up because uh, you know what that mixing valve is a little cooler. I think I have it set to like 111, 112. So it's probably correct. That's what we're showing here too. I want these things to kick on. diagnostic mode. Zero is the information for the whole system. So that's what I want. And two is the BTU usage. So now this one is only going to show for this unit only. Not the whole system. So we're down to 129. I believe I have that set at 130 with a five degree differential right now. 128, so at 125 that will come on. We can kind of observe what happens here. 27. Let's see the research, why is the research pump? So this is total BTU. So it's figuring out how many BTUs we're using. So this unit alone is flowing 3.94 gallons a minute. We're flowing a calculated, or we're needing a calculated 156,000 BTUs. So the total flow rate for the whole system right now is seven and it does go between seven and eight. So we must be just below, if each unit's pumping 3.9, then um, I believe there's a way I can show that, but the tank, tank's down to 115. Why is that recirc pump on? Set at 113. One ten with a three degree differential. So that should be off. I don't understand that. So what's our 124,000 BTUs? With 109 degree water coming in, 
at just under eight gallons a minute. The tank's already back up to 124. I mean, it's quick. I still have to dial that recirc pump in that that shouldn't be running when the shower's on or when the hot water's on. It, it should only be on. I mean, if, if there's hot water going by that sensor, it should be plenty hot enough to not need the recirc. So I've, I've got to fix that. What's interesting is that the tank is showing 127. And this is showing 112 because the incoming water, if you can see it down there, is only 58 degrees, it looks like. Tanks up 129. Okay, tank is shut off. Zero BTUs there. No flow. Now let's turn this back on and see if we can figure this out. So if we're set, at 110 with a three degree differential, it shouldn't come on until it drops to 107. So maybe that was it. I think I had it at 113 with a three degree. So anytime it dropped below 110, and that's hovering right around 111 because that must be what I had the three-way mixing valve set at is close to 111. I had it at 120 but we were getting those temperature swings and actually I, st I still experienced that this morning in the shower so I still have to dial that in a little bit more but um, yeah I mean the system works. Tanks at 131, shower's still on. And now with both units, I mean, flowing eight gallons a minute, that's pretty much endless hot water. I mean, we'll never, before with just the one at 4.3, there was a chance if you had fixtures in the house that were drawing more than 4.3, that you could theoretically run out because that pump can only move 4.3. So if you can only heat up 4.3 and you're drawing six, uh, it's eventually going to be replaced with cold water. But now with both of them easy linked together and a total of high sevens, almost eight gallons a minute, um, I, I, I mean, that's, that's three showers or that's a bunch of fixtures on at once. I don't think we'll ever hit that. So, and that also includes the heat or the snow melt being on and us being able to uh, use the snow melt along with, and it'll still keep up with the hot water. So uh, I did finish the venting for the second unit, obviously. I don't know if I showed that. Um, it turned out pretty good. It turned out exactly how I wanted it. Uh, the, ex the exhaust just goes up and out. The intake comes in. It clears everything. I, that was, those blocks up there were just temporary. I need to... Uh... Oh, came back on again. So the tank is at 124. Now the shower's off.
tank is showing 120. So 57,000 BTUs for the whole system. Just curious here. It's hitting its limit. So it's working. Just have to dial some things in still. But uh, yeah, see now we're at 116 on that. The sensor right here. So, hmm, interesting. All right. Next steps will be to get some wood on the wall here and start mounting some snowmelt manifolds. All right, we'll see you guys later.